Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, today I have a new setup. I cleaned up my craft room a little bit. And um, I added um, uh, um, when I had this on my wall. One of those little um, cube things on my wall a long time ago. But then when my house flooded I had to take it down so they can redo my house and stuff. So I decided to put it on my um table and i have my camera on there so i'm hoping that it stays because it's on a tiny tripod and it kept falling on me so i'm hoping that now it would stay so for today this is going to be a very quick project um this is going to be the first card in my birthday series um i'm using um several things no 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 I'm using several things. I I use my Cricut and I use the Art Philosophy cartridge. No, I need that. Why? Because it belongs to me. Mm. And I'm using, let me see, this right here, this card right here in this layer. And I cut the card out at four and a half inches. Then I made the layer because I wanted it to be like a little border around it. So I made this a quarter quarter of an inch smaller. I'm going to be using a new studio stamps and this is a very merry unbirthday and we are using the sentiment happy B day I also cut out a tag and this is this is old um, tag scallop combo number two from Sizzix okay and the paper that I'm using is a new studio this is um, sugar and apple and I'm using uh, um, a bread that I had in my stash and the ink that I'm going to be using is color box let's see what's this one called fireberry <laughs> and I bought this the other day they had a sale at Michael's and the reason why I bought it was because I want to get um, Stephanie Bernard. She has um, her set of color box ink. And so I wanted to see, because I know she said hers have like a smooth um, background. It's not textured like other um, stamp pads. So I said, well, and somebody at Michael's, or Michael's where I, where I live at, is just, it's a little... Ugh. I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like the other Michaels that seem to be very, very nice. But, um, there were a couple of packages open. So, I just, um, opened it up to see did it have the smoothness that she has. And it's, it's something similar. And so, I, um, purchased it. I purchased, a, well, one that was wrapped anyway. And, um, decided to give it a try. So, this is already cut and scored. So, I'm just going to line this up. And I have to remember that I'm using a new method here. Okay. And then... This is going to go on. This is my idea to go on like this. And this is up on some dimensionals. And so, let me see if I get this that piece off because it's irritating me. I've been having issues with my Cricut not cutting the way I, I need it to cut. So, before, we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Okay, I'm just going to get a little scratch piece of paper because this is my first time using this stamp. And just make sure that, oh goodness, that is so pretty. I am definitely getting her ink. I need to check my bank account and see if I got the money. That is just so pretty. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So I stamped Happy B Day. I mean, it's just perfect. I've never had an ink pad that did that worked out so perfectly. Okay, so now back to our card. Okay, so we're going to get our thing here. Now, ideally, our bread would not fit through that hole, but because I used a tag and the, and the, um, the hole of the tag is smaller, it actually works out. No, I need that. What? Because the light is attached to it. Okay. Now this is going to move, and I think I do want it to sit in place. So what I'm going to do is try to find what I did with my glue dots. Is it the big ones or the small ones? Okay, good. These are small ones. I'm almost finished, Andrea. So, I'm going to take a little glue dot. Okay. Alright. So, I just took a little glue dot. So this can stay in place. I'm trying to learn how to make some more um, efficient <laughs> videos because I really hate to um, edit. So I try to do it right the first time. And if it's like a new technique or something, I definitely try to make sure I have everything done and I've tested it out before before getting on video. So that way it won't be too long of a video for you guys. But I'm pretty sure you don't mind talking to me. It's better than fussing all night long. Okay. And so, here we go. Now the only thing... And here's the card. Mm -hmm. And then you can just put your sentiment um, sentiment on the inside if you want to. Or a little note. The only thing I did not like about this. I don't know if it was just this Cricut. Because I used it as um, the E2 on this one. And for some reason it was just having a really hard time cutting. I don't know why. But um, hopefully um, I might. Well I'm not going to do this one again. But I'm going to use my go back to my original it seems to be the original was the best one they should have never <laughs> never messed with the first one because it, it, it just seems like the original was the best so that's all i have for you guys today thank you for joining me you want to say bye-bye bye bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.